I was originally going to do every difference between Lego Indiana Jones 1 and 2, but while doing research, I found a list of inaccuracies for Lego Indiana Jones 2 on the Indiana Jones wiki, so I decided to do that first. A huge thank you to the editors of the wiki for having all of this information, as most of the inaccuracies will come from the wiki. Tell me if I missed anything in the comments. In the opening cutscene of Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones is shown with the idol, but in the movie it was taken by Balak. The person who gives Indy the Ark of the Covenant mission is different between both versions. In the film, it is members of the government, but in the game it is Brody. Also, the plane is more of a commercial plane compared to the smaller plane in the movie. In Egypt, Marion is kidnapped by getting put into a barrel. However, in the movie, she hid in one, and that's how she was caught. There are multiple Sherpas compared to only one in the movie. The Cairo swordsman is not shot like he is in the movie, but knocked unconscious with a banana by Sala. In the arc opening scene, there was no monster in the movie. Several German soldiers were able to survive the arc opening, but they all died in the movie. The events that happen inside of Club Obi-Wan are very different in the game. Indy never sits down on the table and neither do the people he is meeting with. Also, Indy is the one that finds the poison unlike the movie where Willy finds it. The time when Short Round enters is different between both versions. He enters earlier in the movie. Willy also never got kidnapped by Lao Che's henchmen in the movie. When they leave the falling plane, Indy uses balloons in the game and a raft in the movie. In the movie, the Sankara stones are implied to have been stolen by the thuggy, but in the game they are stolen by monkeys. The movie shows Indy and the gang having dinner before they are attacked, but in the game, they get straight to fighting. When they get to Pinkot Palace, they are only able to get to the Temple of Kali through a secret passage. But for some reason in the game, it is incredibly obvious. Also, the entrance is a dugout hole outside instead of being inside the palace. Willy is never captured by the thuggy like she is in the movie. There is also no monster in Temple of Doom. When they leave the temple, they go straight outside, which completely skips the abolition segment. That was the whole point of going to the palace in the movie. On the bridge, Mola Ram is the only thuggy left, unlike the movie where there are many. The way Mola Ram dies is also different. In the movie, he lost grip of the falling bridge, but in the game, the weight of the statue makes him fall. Also. The bridge never broke when Indy and his friends were on it. 
The young indie segment in Beginning of the Last Crusade isn't shown or even referenced, which is weird since the first level takes place in an area that directly relates to that segment. In the same level, Solo wasn't with Indiana Jones in the movie. Panama Hat carries a machine gun instead of his cane. In the movie, Indy goes back home after the ship explodes, but for some reason they made him suffer and swim all the way to Italy. Just like the beginning of the first movie, Brody is the one that gives the mission to Indy instead of the government. Indy and Elsa skip the library scene and instead just go straight to the castle in the game. When Indy and Henry go to Berlin, they cause a public scene and have to fight a bunch of people. In the movie, everything was done in secret. Indy and Henry are able to get out of the Zeppelin safely by climbing a ladder, which is different from the movie where they get out of a plane. Also, Indiana Jones never gets into the tank. There is no tornado monster in The Last Crusade. Because of this, Indy is also never able to get the real grail in the game. Once again, Sala does not go into the cave with Indy. The biggest inaccuracy is probably the fact that Elsa rejoins Indy instead of dying like in the movie. The janitor is a character that was created specifically for this game and it was never seen in the movie. Indiana Jones didn't get into town directly from the fridge in the film. Inside the bar, the game shows Indy and Mutt fighting Russians inside, which never happened in the movie. The battle on the top of the train is another example of something that was made specifically for the game. When they get the skull in the movie, they are able to leave without a problem, but in the game, they must fight the Cemetery Warrior King. How they get to the Russian camp is additionally different. They were kidnapped in the movie, but the game shows them finding it on their own. At the camp, Mac goes back on Indy's side despite the fact that he didn't do it until the car chase in the film. Monkeys didn't kidnap Marion in the film version of The Crystal Skull.
There were two inaccuracies that I could not find a recording of from the last crusade. Here they are. Number 45. At the Temple of the Grail, there were many Germans in the movie, but in the game there is only Donovan and Schneider. Number 46. Henry is not shot in the temple like the movie. He is only apprehended by Elsa. And also one in the Crystal Skull. Number 47. Marcus Brody is seen as alive despite the fact he was confirmed to be dead by a statue in the film. Alright, that's it for the sequel. There were three more monsters that came up that weren't in the movie, but since I had already mentioned them three times, I decided not to repeat myself. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Another big thank you to the editors of the Indiana Jones Wiki for curating this list of inaccuracies. I've linked the wiki in the description, so please go check it out. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.